Welcome back, everyone. Oh, do we have a good interview here. You know, in our country, you say football, immediate recognition. Basketball, immediate. Baseball, immediate. How about rugby? How about the fact that this very charming person sitting next to me is a lawyer and is the head coach for a rugby team in Glens Falls? We got a lot of explaining to do here. <laughs> this is Claudia Bramer. Welcome, Claudia. Thank you so much for having me. It's nice to have you here. Okay, with that rather interesting opening, yes. why don't we start? Um, you live in Glens Falls. That's Your right. Your yep. day job is an attorney. That, that's that's my, very interesting. Yes. Yet you're the head coach for the Foothills Rangers Rugby Football Club. You got it. Oh, my God. Uh, tell me a bit about the name first, because it's intriguing. Foothills, we're accustomed to the word Foothills. Right. Because a lot of sports cover it. Are the foothills right? Like there's the foothills sectionals for lacrosse right. and other sports, right. and it affiliates with the lower Adirondacks. Yes, the foothills of the Adirondacks. Yeah. Um, Rangers. And then we came up with Rangers because of uh, the Rangers related to the to the Army, um, the Rangers Rock, and he his. Oh, at Rogers Rock. Right. He was a ranger. Right. That's right. Yeah, right. Sure. So he really led his men valiantly, mm -hmm. and they were very strong and. Mm -hmm. um, Lots of people respected them, so we're hoping that that That'll rub invokes off. that yes <laughs> <Yeah>. feeling. <laughs> in football club, you have to realize that football, in this context, like soccer, yeah, right, has exactly. a completely different a different context. So you found this club. Why did you find this club? I founded the club because I love rugby. I think it is an awesome sport for children. It gives them an outlet to have something to experience: teamwork and mm -hmm. commitment and mm -hmm. hard work. And for those kids that um, aren't participating in varsity sports at their high school, this gives them another way to get involved in local sports and have a team that they can be involved with, kids mm -hmm. their age, and keeps them out of trouble. Yeah, you know, it's such a healthy alternative. And something very interesting about rugby, and don't underestimate, this is a tough sport. There's a lot of contact in this, but it's a healthy contact. You know what I mean? It's it's you have it, it, a lot of strategy involved in the way the game is played and the interaction between the players. And it can get pretty rough out there, but that's part of the art of learning how to be part of a team, how to work with others, right? Right, and not just your own team, but one of the awesome traditions about rugby is that when you get done beating up the other team on the field, <laughs> we all get together after the game and mm -hmm. have a social with the other side with the kids. It's just like pizza and soda, I mm -hmm. think you can imagine what it involves with the adults, but you really get, you have a community that's just more than just your team. Right. It's anybody that you played, anyone else that plays rugby, they mm -hmm. have a respect for one another. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an awesome You sport. know, Claudia told me before she went on air, I said, when did you get involved in rugby? And she said, 1998. And we're talking, we go through the, half through the conversation, and so humbly, she just happens to mention the fact that she's on the U.S. women's rugby team. That's pretty amazing. And give us the highlights of that. Tell, tell our viewers what that is. Okay, so yeah. I started playing in 1998, played at Penn State. Mm -hmm. They just won their 10th National Women's Rugby Championship, mm -hmm. Collegiate Championship. Mm -hmm. So I came from a great program. I played for some club sides and worked my way up to the national team level. Mm -hmm. And I played in the World Cup in Edmonton, Canada in 2006. That's unbelievable. <laughs> And in then I actually, I didn't tell you this, but I had my daughter uh -huh. after that and then worked my way back onto the team to play in the second World Cup, my second World Cup mm -hmm. in 2010 in London. Wow, what an inspiration you are. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, so yes. now you've got the kids in Glens Falls. Yes. Uh, part of the reason we're doing the interview, of course, is to raise awareness for the club, but also to say, hey, you know, if you live in the area, this is Glens Falls, kind of centrally located to all of the towns around to, uh, you know, maybe you want to participate. Tell me how the club is broken up, because you said that there were the younger ones and the older ones, right? right? So yeah. right now we have two different age divisions, basically U19, under 19, for our high school players. Okay. From, they're usually 14 to 19, to 19, but they right. have to be a freshman in high school. Mm -hmm. And then the lower division is our kids who are ages 7 to 13. Okay, right. And those opportunities are wide open for boys and girls, correct? Right now, yes, yes. that is okay. true. Right now, I only have boys, okay. but I would love to have a girls' team as well. So I, we're, I we're working you, on that. I bet you would. Well, but you mentioned you had a daughter, so maybe pretty soon, right? <laughs> I try to get my daughter. She's seven, so I try to get uh -huh. her to come to the seven-year-old, um, yes. seven to thirteen-year-old yes. age range. And I do have girls there, but she's not into it quite yet. Uh huh. Now, where do you play? 
at Crandall Park. Oh, right in Glen Falls. Yes, oh, so great that's place where our practices play. are. We have um, we've had one home game at Crandall Park, mm -hmm. and the city's been really supportive. Mm -hmm. With that. I'm, I'm glad they are. And this, I imagine, will have to happen on the weekends, right? So if someone's interested in bringing their child to expose them to this, how about going and showing support for a yet one more really strong community uh, outreach program? Uh, when, yes. uh, when would they show up? So the 7 to 13-year-olds can show up on Sunday mornings at 11 o'clock at the main field at Crandall Sunday Park. mornings, you said? Sunday mornings, Okay, got yeah, it. Okay, so. good. It's at 11, a little bit later in the morning. Yeah, good, okay. So you get the church thing out of the way and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, and then the older ones? The older ones, right now the practice schedule is not quite set for the rest of the season. We have mm -hmm. our last game tonight, actually, for the spring season. So mm -hmm. if they want information, details, they can email me. They can go to their our Facebook pages, Foot, mm -hmm. Foothills Rangers. Rugby. And you will be playing this summer, July and August. You right. were telling me, yeah, I guess the season is April to June, roughly, right? And right. Then you, but you are playing July, August. Yeah, yes. due to the weather, you have to make some changes. Yeah, to because the style of, the of rugby. Yeah, yes. to the style yeah. of it, sure. Because it's really, the, you talk about a physical sport. Yes. Okay, so when in the humidity in July and August, maybe we change <laughs> the rules just a little bit. We change the, the length of the halves. Yes, yeah. okay, good. Yeah, shorten them up. Oh, I can't wait to come watch a game. That this is very great. exciting. Yeah. Rugby, it's here in our community. And thanks to Claudia, we've got a couple of clubs. We got ones for little ones and we got ones for the high school kids. I think that's amazing. It's so much fun to talk to. Thank you for coming in and best of luck with the club. Keep us informed. Let us know what's going on. I will. And, uh, and we'll have you back again, all right? All right. Thank you Good. so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for coming in. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.